Good morning. I'm sitting here with Bill Roth, Vice President of Marketing of Nexenta, the open storage provider that's making life bad for legacy storage companies. Good Bill, could you tell me how Nexenta started? Sure. Nexenta was the idea of two engineers, Alex Aisman and Dmitry Lusupov, who had an idea to base a new storage product and revolutionize the storage software industry by taking some powerful technology out of the recently announced, uh, the recently open sourced Open Solaris mm -hmm. to make open, store, open source storage and the open storage movement to move that forward and make storage, enterprise class storage, more affordable. It actually started in 2004, mm -hmm. the Red Rock Coffee House on the corner of Castro and Via in Mountain View where they had this idea. And it turns out it was a good idea. They got some initial funding and were able to um, work on an enterprise class product which um, first released in 2008. Okay, very good. Could you tell uh, us a little bit about the technology in uh, Nexenta? Sure, the core technology. We're an open core or we're an open core company. At the core of our product is the ZFS file system from the Open Solaris core. And ZFS was a remarkable piece of technology that was part of Solaris. It was a 128-bit file system that included a number of in uh, innovations, not the least of which was auto-tiering, the ability to essentially uh, do smart caching in a file system to mm -hmm. be able to bring data closer on the fastest kind of storage when it was needed. Um, also uh, to do um, check summing and make sure that you never could lose your data and that you could essentially build a self-healing file system. All of this is at the core part of uh, the ZFS file system. Um, we then take that and then build enterprise class features around that. We make it easy to acquire, easy to install, um, we add replication features, high availability features on top of that, um, and also make sure we have a certification program to make sure that we've got solutions uh, that you can be guaranteed uh, will work, uh, and to provide, and that our uh, vendors uh, and our resellers can provide um, solid products on top of it. Okay, if you're talking about solid, uh, what I've uh, learned about Nexenta is its enormous flexibility. Mm -hmm. 128-bit file systems mm -hmm. means that you have virtually no limits mm -hmm. in replication snapshots. That's right. How, how does your competition cope without those features? Well, in many cases, they don't cope. Uh, in many cases, what they have to do is stand up multiple instances or have multiple, uh, multiple copies. And so the legacy storage vendors have um, quite a problem on this. Um, and so um, I think it's one of the advantages that Nexenta brings mm -hmm. is that we have this core technology that, as you say, is virtually unlimited um, and uh, can really meet almost any kind of enterprise need. Right. Two to the power 64, right? Exactly. exactly. Two to the power, yes, to 128. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, so Nexenta is competing on reliability and price. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about reliability. Uh, I think it's obvious that there are lots of things that can happen to your storage. That's right. You can have write holes, you mm -hmm. can have uh, a growing business that uh, you want to uh, supply with a growing storage mm -hmm. environment. Uh, what I've learned is that Nexenta is, has also little limits in uh, growing the environment. Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate on that? Sure. I, there, there's a, in addition to having a 128-bit file system. Mm -hmm. We're constantly adding new features to make sure that it's the most reliable uh, and the most performant file system out on the market. This includes features like making sure, as we said, that you have replication, high availability. But we've recently announced a plugin called uh, Namespace Cluster. How can I provide a namespace that may consist of multiple instances of ZFS? multiple instances of uh, our, our product that's based on it and extent to store. Um, so namespace cluster is an example of the kinds of things that we're doing to provide reliability and scalability uh, to our customers. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now reliability is one thing, 
where users of large cloud environments are really worried about. Mm -hmm. Can you tell the public how uh, Nexenta uh, anticipates on cloud storage? Sure. I think that the, the biggest proof of our ability to uh, perform in the cloud environment mm -hmm. is uh, KT, Korea Telecom. They've been able to build out a cloud and build out a cloud offering very similar to Amazon's, where mm -hmm. they're, offer, they're offering um, uh, shared hosting um, and hosting of VMs at essentially half the price. Now, they're able to do that because Nixenta's solution radically changes the cost equation as compared to the legacy vendors. We can offer commodity hardware and enterprise-grade software at, in some cases, up to 65% less cost than the legacy vendors. So that's, uh, I think, in addition to providing a lower cost basis, we work with our customers to make sure that not only they're using the, the technology to the fullest advantage, but help them with their architectures to make sure um, that the underlying architecture supports the needs that they need for their cloud environment, whether it's VM hosting, whether it's um, backup, disaster recovery, um, working with our vendors to make sure it scales across the use cases that they need. Okay. Talking about uh, clouds and virtualization, how essential is Nexenta for clients of VMware? Nexenta, I believe, is essential, very essential uh, to VMware customers. We can provide a virtual storage appliance and a virtual mm -hmm. storage architecture at a reasonable price so that when, as you build out your virtual environment. Mm -hmm. You've got a rock solid uh, environment that works well with VMware software. We've got a long standing partnership with VMware. And in many cases, we're working directly with their architects and directly with the APIs to make sure that it's easy to provision, that it's easy to connect, uh, and that you can get the most, you can provide the most reliable and efficient storage environment uh, for VMware software. That sounds very good. How does a VMware customer make uh, the change? You know, it's a VMware customer can make the change uh, fairly simply because we integrate with a lot of the APIs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it can be just as simple as um, simply trying uh, trying our software. As many people know, we offer uh, we do offer a community edition, which allows people to build up up to an 18 terabyte. Uh, initial version at no cost uh, and we also provide the documentation solutions guides that they need to uh, test out a Nexenta environment with VMware. Let's put it straight they can start with zero cost on licensing. That's right by okay. going to Nexenta.com and downloading the community edition they can get started uh, at zero cost to, to uh, begin the process of uh, building that into their virtual environments. Okay, that sounds very good. Now let's make the step to the Metro environments. Then uh, you <coughs> take a look at uh, how governments are using uh, mm -hmm. data centers. Mm -hmm. They've grown wiser through the years. They know that one data center is no data center. Right. Two data center is half data centers right. and actually three data centers is one data center. Mm. So please elaborate on how Nexenta supports metro clusters. So we've been working on and we've got a level of metro cluster support uh, today mm -hmm. and by the end of the year we will be providing additional tools and support uh, for the metro cluster environment because we see many of our largest customers moving in that direction. As you say, they realize for the kind of stability and performance they need that uh, two or three data centers are really what's needed to provide the level of scale and reliability that folks need, especially across geographically distributed environments. Very good, very good. Now, <clears throat> Nexenta is perfect for VMware. Uh, are the other environments like uh, Xen, uh, Hyper-V, and mm -hmm. Red Hat uh, Enterprise Virtualization also in your site? Or? Yes, they are. Uh, while we have a great relationship with VMware, mm -hmm. um, we currently have a number of customers who are building out, for example, VDI storage layers for Citrix 
built on um, uh, built on uh, built for an extended store. So there's plenty of uh, we're focused on VMware right now, uh, and I we will kind of test the market to to see what our next uh, uh, what our next major foray will be into virtualization. Okay, very good. What's up for the future? What kind of innovations can we expect in the coming years from Nexenta? This is going to be a great year for Nexenta. So there's two important things that we're doing this year. The first is we believe that there's going to be a step change in the market uptake for uh, virtual desktop infrastructure. So um, this summer we'll be announcing Nexenta VSA for VUE, which is several things. First a rock-solid storage layer for virtual desktop environment. But second, it's a product that addresses the two fundamental issues that people have with their virtual desktop environment. First, virtual desktop environments are hard to install. Second, once you get them running, they're hard to maintain. So an Ascent to VSA for VUE is two things to address that. Number one, it's effectively, as we say in English, the easy button for VDI. We take up to 150 installation steps and compress them down to seven. Um, the second part is we have a calibration manager, which once your environment is up and running, once you've deployed your initial desktops, we make it easy to give you the insight to understand how much more room you have based on the service level you want, how much more room you have to add more desktops, or how you can improve your current SLAs. So an extensive VSA for VUE is going to be one of our big innovations. We've talked about this in the past and called it an extensive VDI. Uh, but Nextent of VSA will be the uh, for VUE will be the launch team uh, term. We're targeting uh, VMware VUE first. We'll look to the other uh, virtual desktop environments uh, somewhere down the road. That's our first major innovation. Mm -hmm. The second one, um, on a smaller scale, but I think kind of relates to uh, to many folks, is um, we'll be announcing again by about mid year, hopefully a little earlier, uh, a cloud archive plugin. Which, makes, which will make it easy to back up and restore volumes and snapshots to the cloud, to an instance of Amazon S3, Google Data, or even OpenStack, so that you can basically take volumes, snapshots, and do complete backup and restore uh, from the cloud. So keep an eye on Nextenta.com, and you'll see when those are on their way out. Very interesting, and I think that Nexenta is going to do fine in 2012. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tony.